built this one. Mm -hmm. There's 39 in here. I still own this lot here. In all my subdivisions, I keep a lot or two that I don't sell. And my idea was that I'll always have something to sell when I get old. If I need to, I can always sell a lot for $100,000 or whatever so it is. So what would that lot run right now for? 110. 110. And how big of it? What is it? A third acre. Third acre. Mm -hmm. This um, this was a this was a prayed home back in those days. Had a lot of fun things in there that Rulinda put in. Secret pantry way that a wall just moved and the pantry was behind it. Mm -hmm. and then these are all homes that we built here. But they're all you know, now they're all these are these are thirty years old, these houses. I sold that lot to some people, and they haven't built on that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's lots like that. I keep a couple lots just in every subdivision. Some of the same people I sold these lots to 30 years ago are still in these houses, still living here. This was a this was a prayed home right there. back in its days. See those steps have still got the same. We we did those steps out of a special kind of material and and they they're still good. The front steps haven't ever been had any trouble. Sold this to a college professor. Still a college professor? Or is he, he retired. retired. He's gone. It's a nice home that we built. One of the last ones we built in here. But that was 25 years ago. <laughs> okay, it gives you an idea. Some of those old. That's one of your older developments. Yep. What's what, what is called? Skyview. Okay. That's the, we just saw the Skyview development. And it's yep. 25 years old. Yep, 25, 30 years. Skyview Heights, it was called. Skyview Heights. Yep. To give you a little perspective from here, you can can you see over where that gravel is and see that SV up on the... Yeah. That stands for Skyview High School. We own all the line, all the land over to where that Sky SV is. All of this land back down through here. Oh. And those hilltops. We'll get up a little closer to it. And that's where our <clears throat> that that that's going to be a recreational um, development that'll have trails and have clusters of homes and we hope high density. Um, High density uh, condos and um, duplexes, that type of thing, in different places. And they'll be scattered all through there. There'll be high density and there'll be equestrian homes, homes that have horse trails and things of that nature that people have mixed over that 500 acre area. And that'll be something new for this valley. This valley doesn't have anything like that. Do you 
you own all this land? Well, I don't own this down here, just, just above the bridge right up here that we're, where we're headed right now. Who lives in that home there, do you know? He's the farmer that farms all this ground down below here. They have a dairy also. Yeah. Who says there's no money in farming, huh? No, he's raising grapes now. Yeah. Sure, it's hard work. Yep, you're right. Okay, from where this bridge is here, then we own all the, all the land now that you can see ahead of you here. Do you want to get out and get this one, Randy, so they can see it? Well, we'll, we'll be driving through you it. You got a better uh, area where I can kind of look down on it and take a yeah. look? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be up. Why don't you get out so that it's not, you can get that span without the car. Get what? Get what now? Like do what you did. Oh, the I mean, panning? The panning without without the car in it. I mean without, you know, oh. the inside of the car. Okay. We got a few horses here. And we got a bunch of mules over here. There's those are mules over there. These are horses here, Randy, as you can see. And these are mules over here. These mules belong to one of my grandson over here. Oh. Nice lay this is. This yeah. is beautiful home sites as time goes on. Yeah, they got a beautiful view of the valley, don't yeah. they? Yeah. They all they all have a western view of the Wellsville. So how many acres is this all together? There's about between four, four and five hundred. So do you own all this? Yeah, everything over to the brow there. Okay. Yeah, I just you know they're ruining your car. <laughs> <laughs> All this land right here. Uh-huh. And you're gonna develop it. Yep. Take a look at the view that you've got from all these homes up here. It's a million dollar view. <laughs> I bought this piece of the first 65 acres here about about 30 years ago. And I came home. Let's see. I would have been seven. I would have been about 65 then. And so I haven't got it developed yet. 
but she says, you're not even going to be alive 20 years from now. <laughs> and I says, well, we'll let the kids develop it if they want to. <laughs> so that's how. You're getting a view that most people, people don't get. get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why the drone could get it all, too. Well, I'm sure this will be filled in one day. Isn't this a beautiful place, though, for a home site? Yes. Yeah. It really is. And there'll be ranchettes, and there'll be um, this is the view right now. Pretty. Isn't that a view? Oh, pretty. There's nothing in the valley any nicer than this. the property looks down on the city. All this property. Yeah, I bet you that's a blast going on a three-wheeler. Just go over the crest flat. See how that opens up to all this land down here? Yeah. Is that yours? It's all ours. And see all these houses that you're seeing right down here? Yeah. Those are all houses we built. We're building right now. That's where we're developing right now. Go down there and see that. That is a lot of land. It's an incomprehensible joke. Is it? <laughs> yes. You can see if you look carefully where we're putting the water line right now. If you look straight ahead, you see some you see some dozers and some track hose down by those telephone poles. Yeah. We're we're putting water we're taking water out of this canyon that you'll see when we get down lower. And bringing it down, we're putting a big reservoir up there. A two and a half million gallon reservoir back up that canyon. Mm -hmm. And we're taking water from this other reservoir here and pushing water up to that reservoir, new one. And then we're going to then distribute that all down through this land we own all this but 80 acres. We don't. There's 80 acres in there we don't own. But that'll all be houses. So you just built a few houses. Around. This would be 10th East. We right now. This is our development here, where you see we've got the, the dozer. And no. That's not. We just finished 16 lots right here, and we're starting another 14. They don't have a half bad view either, do they? They're pretty good. They're not as near as good as they up on the hill, but these are. Is this a burn? Uh, Water collection? Yeah, we have to put, they call them detention ponds. We slow yeah. the water down. It comes off of, all comes off these new roads that we put in here. So we put all these roads in here down this way and cul de sac over there.
Next time you come, there'll be houses on these lots here. Because yeah. we've sold all the lots except about three or four. <laughs> what are the lots going for? Anywhere from 130 to 200. This is this is the guy I hired to do the excavation oh no it's not him one of the inspectors how you guys grandpa. I didn't recognize you <laughs> grandpa hey. hi son how are you yeah. this is my grandson Parker that's Parker huh Come over here and meet these people. They're your cousins. This is this is Nanette. Nanette. Back here. Yeah. She's the one that's doing all this family history. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Tell me who your parents are. Scott and Cherie. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, we haven't got you on the video. No, that's right. No, we never. We need you. Well, I like to hide. We need, to tell, we need you to tell us about Jack. About, about Jack? Jack? <laughs> well, do you have a SD card big enough to house all the information? Because there's a whole lot to tell. So. Just in three words, what would you say? Three words? You can't, you, you can't do it in three words. <laughs> three words isn't enough. I'd have to really think about it. If, it. if I was limited to three words, I'd have to have to really, really think about it to make it right. Yeah. So. He's kind. Okay. Well, give us a few more words than three. Oh man, you can't just put me on the spot. These are things you gotta, you gotta think about yeah. and make sure. I just showed him your mules. Oh, did you? Yeah. Those are your mules. Park, yeah. Park, oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I guess, I guess our, I guess it runs in the family down in Jacob Lake when they make the, the trek down to St. George and. <laughs> They take work, the mules and. Did you work at Jacob Lake for a while? I didn't. I didn't work at Jacob Lake, but I I've been down there a few times with with Grandpa Jack and. Yeah, about that bracelet. Got yeah. got this bracelet at Jacob Lake just because. Grandpa Jack had to. <laughs> got that for payment for. <laughs> leaving the fuel on and. <laughs> lost lost his dad a lot of money over the summer, but he that's how he got paid and reminds him to never sleep on the job. So, I thought I better have one and. Keep it as a reminder to never sleep on the job and never quit. He never so, does either. So this boy is going to be very, very successful with whatever he does. Successful at feeding mules. That's about it right now. No, he's, <laughs> he's running this equipment. For you? He's, he's, uh, yeah. He, yeah. He's, he can do anything that on the subdivision that he decides he wants to do. I love him. I love all, all my boys. Parker went with me to the, when we went back to where I was born. We took a trip all over our, all the places I've lived before since I was a little kid. Yeah, that was that that was a that was a fun trip. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, that was a lot yeah. of fun. We need to do it again. Let's see if he'll turn. I, I guess. I think, I, I think she's gonna come down this way. I'll get out of the way. Anyway, I, I'm glad we ran into you, son. Well, I'm, I'm always happy to run into you. <laughs> it's always a good time. Well, Nanette's the one that's been orchestrating all this paraphernalia about the Nixons. But she does need to talk to you sometime. All right. We'll, we'll figure out a time. And... <laughs> Do you want to say anything right now? I, I, we I'm, have our cameraman here. I'm trying to think of, of three words, but I... <laughs> Three words won't justify. Not you, even three sentences. Huh? There's three words, and if you use the the acronym, it's S O B. S O B. <laughs> yeah, that's what I am. <laughs> Smart. Uh, no. I'm trying to think of the other ones. You know. <laughs> Bashful. Uh, <laughs> no. Anyway, that's I fine. I think I think if three if I had to sum it in three words. I 
don't know. I, can, I don't think I could do it. But honest is going to have to be in, in one of those three words. I, I, I guess you could say never never give up or never quit. I don't know if that if you can you can phrase that one into a word. And uh, You're cut. Al, al, always willing to to help no matter the circumstance. No matter what. That's, He's the first one to help. That's pretty good. I yeah. I hadn't thought of that. I didn't I think you were been mis misinformed or something. But misinformed, thank, but nope. thank you. I speak the truth and nothing but the truth. I'm a Nixon, I'm not a crook. So <laughs> That's right. You are a Nixon. We're proud of you too, Parker. Well, like you told me the other night, just, just trying to make a living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to juggle everything and keep it in the air. Parker just bought a new condo. Oh. Hadn't closed on it yet, and he's made over fifty thousand dollars appreciation wow. since he signed the papers. That's amazing. I haven't stayed a day in, in it yet, so it's about about all done now for you. Though. It's it's all done. Just need to. He he can sell it. He got an appraisal on it the other day for three forty seven. 347 so for 60,000 more than you paid for it. Wow. And he hadn't paid for it yet. <laughs> I, I haven't paid a dime on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to keep going. We, they want to shoot some Kay. pictures of stuff and so on and so forth. So. All right. You Kay. better get to it. Do you it. live up here? Uh, I'm living in Layton. So I drive I drive up here every day and drive back every day. So. Wow. For right now. That's when why. do your parents get back? So they get back in um, June. Yeah, June. Are oh, any of your brothers and sisters here? No. Nope. No, nope. my brother lives down in Sunset, my sister lives in Clearfield, and my other sister lives in Layton as well. Huh? So, so I wonder there. if we could make a night where they all come to your house and we can film them. Yeah, I'm sure we could make it happen. That would be okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think, I think they would be more than willing and happy to do that. So, okay. yeah, it would be a lot of fun. That would be great. But... Well, thank you very much. We're going to run. Okay. See you, my boy. Okay. I hope you guys have all night, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Love you. Love you. We'll see you. Bye-bye. It's one of my friends. He's another contractor, and I sold him the lots. I sold him two lots right here. He's got a carriage house down below here. What's he do? He builds homes. He's a home builder? Uh-huh. Carriage house that holds their cars. Yeah, he's got. He's he's probably got some old cars like I have. I don't know what he's got in there. Got about nine garages. He's got one, two, nine three, four, garages, yeah. five, six. Some of them are double. About about nine cars. Did you, did you build this one? No. Uh, we're not building any houses but right now. Did you sell them the lots? Sold them the lots, yeah. Well, that's something. This one, Chick-fil-A guy owns this one here. He's a good oh. friend. That's about a million dollar home. And a mobile motor home. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, okay. We've seen, you've seen a sample. We can take you. I'll just go there and turn around real quick and go back and show you how this ties together. Now you can see where we came in. This is a cul-de-sac here. Okay. We'll turn around here. This is your cul-de-sac? Cul yeah, we just came in right where that car is. That's how we came in. We just, just finished putting curbing gutter, gutter asphalt down. I'm glad you're doing all nice homes because in Murray where there's not 
houses, they're putting all sorts of apartments and, you know, build it a new one. Uh-huh. And I just resold it just two weeks ago. You built that house for the cop? Back many, many years ago. Uh -huh. Built it for about $23,000. We just resold it for 400